Hi everybody, hope you're doing really well. Um, this is a delayed three minute coach. Usually get on Wednesday this week. We had some audio problems, so I'm kind of reshooting a couple things. So, yeah, you know, this week, I, you know, I was kind of wrestling through what to actually talk about. And um, I'm in, a, I'm part of a WhatsApp group with a couple other guys. Um, and my buddy Dwight and I are a little older than anybody else. And two of the other guys are around 30. And um, about, about a couple months back, they asked the question Hey, you know, what advice would you give us? You know, as we're 30 years old. You know, if you had to, if you had to impart any thirty-year-old any wisdom to yourselves ten or twenty years behind you, what would you do? You know, and it's funny. I, I kind of said, "Yeah, we'll get back to you," and then I never got back to him. And so, one of the things I, I was thinking about today is that, you know, if I could give any advice to my thirty-year-old self, you know, I think what would it be? And you know, the thing that stands out to me the most is I would worry a whole lot less. You know, there's a whole piece of advice, like I think in different types of our life, is that we get so worried about things that we are not, and we get, we worry about what it is we don't do well. And I think it's not just about being, hey, you know, kind of where we are in life, but I think when, when I get asked about, for coaches and entrepreneurs, I think we can sometimes assume that others who are being successful have so much more put together than we do. That they have all these other things, and, and we worry about not having enough information, or not enough resource, or not enough time, or, or fill in the blank with whatever your not enough is. Honestly, if I could tell myself anything, it's, hey, don't worry so much. The reality is you're going to work it out. It's going to be okay. I mean, I, honestly, if you've heard my story before, at 30, I was a train wreck. I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I just knew I was miserable at my HP job and I was moving on. You know, I think I spent a lot of years, even in, even as I took steps, even as I started this journey to really try to have an impact on the world, I really struggled. You know, and honestly, you know what? I still struggle now. Like to really be honest, there's still days when you struggle to go, man, am I still enough? Do I have what I need? I think if I had to offer up anything, you know, as a, as an, as a kind of a thing to think about this week, worry less, you know, quit assuming that other people have something you don't have and that's why they're starting. Take a start with whatever you've got, whatever moment it is, whatever piece of information you have, start with taking action. Think about, you know, I talked this week in my call to courage emails about ambition and about that's, you know, ambition's great, but there's got to be work. You've got to actually step in and do work. You know, Walt, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, no one will send you the prize. You've got to earn it. You've got to win it. You got to take action and, take, and make a start. But a lot of us won't because we're sure we're not enough of something. If I could give you any advice. If you're starting a business or you want to start a business or you want to make a different decision or you want to step in and have a different relationship with your spouse or your kids, don't think other people have it all together. Start with whatever you've got. I don't have it all together. I'm, I'm screwed up so many days that you'd be like, man, I can't believe people pay you money to talk. You know, but the thing of it is I keep going. I'm just going to keep going. Start with whatever you have. Take some steps. Stop comparing yourself to others. Worry less. Kind of go from there. That's my three-minute coach for this week. I, you know, if you have a question, I'd really love to hear from you. Honestly, not many of you writing in these days. Um, I'm getting a lot of good feedback on the page, but I'm not getting questions. Some of your questions. Really want to hear from you. What's something I can cover next week during three-minute coach? Until then, lead courageously. Take care.